。好，我是阿婉，这是一篇二零二五年十一月六日的新闻。已遭太空碎片撞击，中国神舟二十号飞船推迟返航。嗯，中国航天部门周三表示，因航天器疑似受到太空碎片撞击，推迟三名航天员从空间站的返航任务。中国载人航天工程办公室在声明中称，目前对疑似撞击事件正在进行影响分析以及风险评估工作，为保障航天员的健康安全，决定推迟返航任务。呃，这次任务名为“神舟二十号”，于四月二十四日从中国北部戈壁沙沙漠的酒泉卫星发射中心发射升空，是中国载人航天工程的第三十五次飞行任务。航天员包括指令长陈东、航天员陈忠瑞和王杰，已在天宫。空间站轨道驻留六个月，他们原计划周四返回中国本北部内蒙古的东风着陆场。针对神舟二十号遭遇碎片撞击的调查，包括撞击影响评估，以确定是否对航天器系统关键部位，呃，造成损坏，从而影响返回地球。随着入轨卫星的。数量增多，太空碎片问题近年来日益突出。卫星发射后，呃，火箭残骸往往会长期滞留轨道。反卫星实验也同样制造了大量的太空垃圾。科学家们仍然在追踪2007年中国一次反卫星实验产生的碎片。该实验摧毁了一颗气象卫星。国际与国际。宇航科学院的克里斯托夫·呃邦纳尔表示，科学家和航天机构已对太空中的大型物体进行了妥善分类编目，这让规避碰撞变得更加容易。但太空中还漂浮着大量微小物体，比如微微流星体和碎片。这些小物体肉眼不可见，却具有致命杀伤力。邦纳尔说：“邦纳尔还指出，一颗直径仅一毫米的物体在太空中也能造成严重破坏，其撞击力相当于地球上时速一百公里飞驰的保龄球。据估计，地球轨道上约有一点三亿个此类微小物体。过去十年间，随着 Space X 的新念以及中国的千帆、国网。”等大型卫星星座的部署，太空碰撞的概率有所上升。呃，中国国家航天局副局长、副局长卞志刚表示，我们能看到风险在增加。那今年九月，卞志刚在悉尼举行的国际宇航大会上透露，中国正在研究在轨主动清除太空碎片技术。中国航天部门部门去年曾经在发布会上回应太空碎片撞击相关问题，表示极端情况下可发射备用呃应急航天器营救航天员。具体而言，此次可能会向空间站发射无人航天器接神舟二十号乘组返回地球。中国于一九七零年发射了第一颗人造卫星，此后二十年间，呃，其太空探索事业落后于世界，直到二十世纪的九十年代初才逐步追赶。天文学家、太空探索专家乔纳森·麦克道威尔表示，过去几年间，中国航天事业已经从世界第四落后于美国、俄罗斯和欧洲。跃升至紧随美国之后的第二位拥有完备的运载火箭体系。中国现已进入人类长期驻留太空的时代。呃，麦克道威尔说，他指的是中国空间站始终有航天员驻留的现状。对于后来者而言，这是一项令人印象深刻的成就。神舟二十号乘组在轨期间完成了多次出舱活动。货物转运、科学实验等任务。上周
呃，神舟二十一号乘坐已乘坐另一艘航天器，抵达天天宫空间站执行轮换任务。目前，两艘飞船均与空间站对接。哎呀，其实我之前有一次就是去一个哦，就是类似。招聘会，招聘会，呃，和朋友和一个马来西亚的妹子，然后她读的是 master 在 UCD， 读的是可再生能源这一类可持续发展能源相关的。然后那个妹子她就格外的关注，呃，太空碎片啊，太空生意等等这些问题。哎，我那时候就会觉得，哎，太空好像，我好像很久没有从新闻上。阅读到这个消息，然后他告诉我，太空其实很多垃圾，然后，然后就可能就是包括一些商用公司，也可能有在考虑，或者说就是作为一个研究者，可以和政府，比如说我在的是爱尔兰，之前有评论，说我在美国英语还那么差，我就想说，我在的是爱尔兰呐、啊，<笑>然后，呃，希望你跟我一样也。对，因此对，嗯，通过这篇文章，然后对太空上发生的事情也有所了解，那就用我磕磕绊绊的英语，希望大家如果听得下来的话，不要忘了给我一个关注吧 ，subscribe， <笑>订阅，啊、uh, ，China delays return of astronauts after David may have hit spacecraft. China has postponed a mission to return three astronauts from its space station after a suspected debris strike on a spacecraft. The country's space authorities said on Wednesday. The China manned space agency said in a statement that an analysis. Analysis of the suspected strike and a risk assessment was underway, and that it had decided to delay the return mission for the health and safety of the astronauts. The mission, known as Shenzhou Twenty, was launched on April Twenty Four from Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in North Northern China's Gebi. Desert and is the thirty-fifth flight of the country's manned space program. The astronauts, the mission commander Chen Dong and Chen Zhongrui and Wang Jie, have spent six months in orbit at the、uh, Tiangong Space Station. They were expected to return on Tuesday to、uh, Dongfen. Dongfeng landing site in China's northern region of the Inner Mongolia. The investigation into the debris strike on Shenzhou Twenty will include an assessment of the impact or determine whether it could it cause any damage to critical parts of the spacecraft system, creating a problem for reentry back to Earth. Debris in space has become a bigger problem in recent years as more satellites are sent into orbit. Rocket piece often remains in orbit long after satellites are launched. Anti-satellite tests have craft. Created large volume of waste too. Scientists are checking debris from one Chinese strike in 2007 that destroyed a weather satellite. Scientists and space organizations have done a good job of cataloging large objects in space, making it easier to avoid call. Collision," says Christopher Bonner of the International Academy of Astronautics. But November's small object, like the micrometer reel and debris float in space too. You don't see them, and they are deadly," Mr. Bonner said. 
an object as small as one millimeter can drop hover in space because it will have a similar impact as a bowling ball barreling down at 100 kilometers per hour on Earth, Mr. Bono said. Some estimates say that there are about 130 million such objects orbit the Earth. The probability of the collision in space has risen in the last decade with the deployment of large satellite constellations such as the SpaceX Starlin Star and two Chinese equivalents, Qianfang and Guowang. Qianfang and Guowang. We can see there are more risks that um, Bian Zhigang, Vice Administrators of China National Space Administration, his country is reaching the FT removal of space debris of Ovi, Mr. Bian said, speaking at the International Astronautical Congress in Sydney in September. China's space agents address questions about space debris strike last year, saying at a news conference that in extreme situations, it could launch one of the standby emergency spacecraft to rescue astronauts. In this case, that would mean sending an unmanned spacecraft to the space station for the Central 20 crew to return home. After launching its first satellite in 1970, China fell behind in space exploration for two decades until the 1990s. Over the past few years, its space program has catapulted from fourth in world, ranking behind the United States, Russia, and Europe to to a close second behind the U.S. with a large stable of launch vehicles, said Johnson McDowell, and astronomers and experts on space exploration. They have now moved to this area of permanent human occupy occupation, Mr. McDowell said, Referring to the fact that the sun station always has a Chinese astronaut. That is really impressive achievement from a late starter. During their time in space, the Central 20 crew has made several space works, handled cargo deliveries, and conducted scientific experiments among other tasks. They were jointed last week at the Tiangong Station by a relief crew abroad another spacecraft known as a Central 21. Both spacecraft are now docked at the station. Mm, thanks for your listening and hoping your life fully with happiness and joys and if you could please subscribe me uh, have a good day